<laughs> Odysseus. Did you say the storm's your final fight? You're on it. You're on Saga three of nine, my dude. <laughs> Storm's not your final fight, buddy. Storm is not your final fight. <laughs> These storms are final. Hello, gals, blokes, and all other folks. My name is Mortius, and we are back with more Epic the Musical. Now, it sounded like my voice already cracked a little bit there. I have had this awful throat cold over the last, like, week or so that has just been impossible to fully shake. I am 99% feeling completely better, but I had pretty much completely lost my voice last Sunday, which is now four days ago. And while I'm feeling much better, my throat just refuses to completely recover. So if I'm f sounding a little shaky, a little voice cracky, that's why I apologize in advance, but I refuse to wait any longer for more Epic the Musical. Last time on Epic the Musical, we had two people decide to have a falling out at just the worst possible time. <laughs> Are both of you stupid? <laughs> this is not the time to be doing this. This is not the time to start being sassy to your divine sugar mama. What are you doing, my dude? <laughs> uh, right as Odysseus reveals his name to Polyphemus, we begin the storm saga. Or no, sorry. We begin the ocean saga with storm. I am... So very excited for this. Now, since I know the Ocean Saga is a lot newer, there's not there's a lot of deliberation about what the best animatics were for this one. Based on comments I received, numbers that I'm seeing, my own knowledge of analytics, I made my choice for which ones are going to hit YouTube. But just like for the Cyclops Saga, I will be doing a Patreon-exclusive reaction to the alternate animatics. So... For Storm, I'm going to be checking out Zamina Natsel. For Luck Runs Out, I'll be checking Lamp Irsi, I think is the way you pronounce that. But then over on the Patreon, I'll be checking out uh, Scylla's Sil version of Storm and TJ Makes version of Luck Runs Out. So you can find those over on the Patreon as well as... By the time this video is out, you will also be able to find the unedited and edited versions of the rest of Storm Saga, which is going to be Ruthlessness and, of course, or sorry, Keep Your Friends Close and Ruthlessness, which I'm going to be recording to or reacting to three different versions of Luck Runs Out, as well as uh, both the GG and... Do -do 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 the Gigi and Annie Flamma versions of Ruthlessness. So, again, to recap, I know that's a lot of things. This video is two versions, or is... Ugh. So, I know that was a lot of different things, but to recap, I'll be checking out Storm and Luck Runs Out in this video, and then a week from today, you'll get a video with Keep Your Friends Close and Ruthlessness on YouTube. I'll be checking out one version of each of those, and then over on the Patreon will be a version, or will be all of the other popular versions of each of these four songs. By the time that this video comes out, that alternate version will be available for my $10 patrons, and then a week from today, when the rest of Ocean Saga comes out, I will drop it down to the $3 patrons where it will sit uh, indefinitely. So, I want to thank everyone who has joined the channel. It has been so amazing seeing this channel grow from the support of Epic the Musical. I appreciate all of you who have joined over on the Patreon. If you want to support over there, get access to these things early as well as the alternate versions. Please consider joining on over there. And now, without further ado, we are going to hop right on into Storm, an Epic the Musical animatic. Here we go. What an interesting start with the trumpets here. That's intriguing. I feel like trumpets haven't been utilized that much. I might be wrong. I haven't, like, dove super far into the behind-the-scenes stuff because I don't want to risk spoilers, but I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of trumpets yet. That's a cool start. Okay, 
Hey, big brass band, what is happening here? That's awesome. These waves and tides have grown in strength and size. Is it nature or divine or a blessing in disguise? Our home okay, hold on. I forgot to check ahead of time. I always got to check to see if they've added captions. Heartbreaking. That's okay. I will do my best. Uh, all the auditory processing girlies out there, you get me. <laughs> girlies in a, you know, gender neutral way. Because that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. Or a blessing in disguise. Our homes inside. The storms are final fight. There's no time to die. Come. <laughs> Odysseus, did you say the storm's your final fight? You're on it. You're on saga three of nine, my dude. <laughs> storm's not your final fight, buddy. Storm is not your final fight. <laughs> the storms are final fight. There's no time to die, comrade. Sir. Brace for a storm. Ooh, hold on, that felt familiar. Hold on. Actually, before we get into that, I wanna take a brief moment to talk about, I find it really, you'd think that Storm would be big swelling music, like You know what I mean? Uh, like big swells forward and back, forward and back to be like stormy waves represented musically. But instead we got this don't, 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 like I'm very intrigued by why he chose to do that. But right as I was thinking to say that, they introduced the chorus vocals and you get that stop which is exactly that that ebb and flow came from the vocals and the chorus instead of the instrumentals exactly what I was feeling like the instrumentals could have been bringing in he brings in with the vocals instead he is such a fascinating songwriter you die comrade Sir. brace for a storm That da 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 sounds really familiar to me. And I don't know if it's from a previous Epic the Musical thing that I'm just forgetting about or something else entirely, but for some reason the progression of da 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 is exceptionally familiar to me. If you know why in the comments, please tell me because I can't place it right now. Close, we must keep pushing forward. Full speed ahead. Towards the island. Go full speed ahead. I, I, I got that call back. Don't worry. Cool. This, this musical just feels so much like Jorge knows how to, like, just. Like he is making a tower out of these building blocks and everything he releases is built on what he's already released in the most beautiful ways possible. I'm also look I also just looked at like my video preview for the first time and I realized how much darker this is than like the background I chose and me. So Mason, you might have to artificially brighten that, maybe? I don't know how well that'll work, but I apologize if it's hard to see what's happening. I chose a brighter background. Just based on my assumptions of how this was going to go, I chose a nicer ocean wave background for this first half and then a much darker one for the next one. But now I'm realizing with the first song being Storm, maybe that didn't make very much sense. I don't know. <laughs> Taking too much damage to survive. We'll need this storm. I don't trust that one bit. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, 
God, my voice is so bad right now. That was like, what do you mean? That was like three voice cracks in four words. Oh my gosh, I need this sickness to leave me. Also, can we talk about the harmonies between uh, friggin' Odysseus and Eurylochus? I know his name now. Don't worry, guys. I actually remember his name. But can we talk about those harmonies? Whoa! An island in the sky. Eurylochus. Really the sky. Sky. Like those, those, ooh. <laughs> They're so good together. Just grab the harpoons. As many as you can find. Why are you attacking? What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? Shoot for the sky. What? <laughs> Eurylochus. I am on Eurylochus' side. I am on everyone's side in this show, except for Odysseus and the gods, consistently. I'm just like, yes, Pol Polites, best man. Eurylochus, good, good straight man. <laughs> I just love the... What? Like, yeah. What are you doing, my dude? Hold on. As many as you can find. <laughs> what do you have in mind? We're gonna shoot for the sky. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone grab a harpoon and aim it high. <laughs> So I'm focused so much on enveloping in the story. Like, listen to those chants in the background. We're shooting for the island in the sky. In the Where's that? Sky. So intense. And then Man, are those words? God, I wish I didn't have auditory processing issues. That's such a problem for someone who has my job. <laughs> Sounds like they're saying words, but I just can't parse them out. Please let me know in the comments what those words are. Well, at least one stuck. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Exactly what I needed after that song. Sorry, who was it? Zamina. Zamina, that is hilarious. I really enjoyed uh, that. That's really, really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do a big long mid tro like I sometimes do. I don't have a ton to say about that one. I'm curious what happens next. Uh, as a reminder, if you wanna see the other version of Storm by Cilia, uh, that will be available as a Patreon exclusive. $10 when this goes up, $3 next week. Let's get into the next video. Oh, and free trials available for both the $3 and the $10 tier if you haven't already activated that trial for a previous Epic the Musical thing. If you have already activated it, It'll be expired by the time this video comes out. So, heh, that's what free trials are for. <laughs> All right, let's check out Luck Runs Out by... Someone's gonna have to tell me how to say some of these names. I believe Lamp... Lamp... Piercy. Lamp... Lampercy. Lamp... Lampierce... Lampiercy. I don't know, man. All right, let's do this. Whew. Wait, I might be reading too far into- Oh, never mind, never mind, they both have it. For a second, I was wondering if, um, Odysseus was wearing Polity's scarf, but then I realized they were both wearing it, and that's probably just consistent across them. Also, I love just Eurylochus showing up, just like, bare-chested, ready to face the day. <laughs> An 
You know what? I'm gonna pause and do something weird. I wanna see how well I would be able to, cause that feels musically like a much bigger jump between styles than we've gotten before. I wanna real quick. Interesting, yeah, those feel like a, I guess the other one kind of ends with like sort of that drone a little bit and then it moves into this drone. So I guess like if there was just a couple more seconds transitioning, it wouldn't be that far off, but they definitely feel pretty musically different more than um, back to backs have felt so far. Very interesting. Is this supposed to feel like, like the calm after the storm, I wonder? Musically speaking. Please don't tell me you're about to do what I think you'll do. Eurylochies, we've we've been watching the same Odysseus, right? Obviously he's gonna do what you think he's gonna do. I don't even know what that thing is yet. But if it's dumb and reckless and heroic all at the same time, yes, that's that's his whole thing. <laughs> You've heard the legends of the island in the sky. This proves they're true. We're in the home of the wind god We don't know for sure How many floating islands have you seen before? This is the home of the wind god And what's the your wind plan? God. I'm gonna climb to the top and ask him for a hand You could be glad You just got out of the- <laughs> Odysseus Don't <laughs> rebound <laughs> You can't just be like, oh, wisdom mommy left me. Let me go find wind, daddy. <laughs> that might be the worst combination of words that I've ever said on this channel, but I stand by them. You're illicit, or no, you Odysseus. Why are all these names like this? Odysseus, you just got out of a relationship. <laughs> I know that's not actually what it was, but stick with the analogy for a moment. You had a very important to you, but even if it was not inherently romantic, you had a bond that was very important to you with a god that just ended at a massive blowout. And now as soon as you see another semblance of the divine, you're like, I tap that. <laughs> like Odysseus, buddy, <laughs> take a break. At once in your life, actually. I don't think you've taken a break since you threw the infant off the roof. And that was the culmination of the Trojan War. You probably didn't have a break for like five years before that. Ah! <laughs> Seen before, this is the home of the wind god. <laughs> What's your plan? Also, who's the wind god? Climb to the top and ask him for a hand. Buddy. You could be cut off guard and move your life. Or piss up this god and then feel what Odysseus could piss off a god and it could fill you with strife after he just got out of my goodbye and I know who's coming when we get to ruthlessness? No! Odysseus definitely never upsets the gods. Never! <laughs> Yes, but how much longer do you Listen, I feel like you took the remember them aspect of losing polities too much and now you've gotten to be uh as like naive and trusting as him. You need like <laughs> This is not the time, as much as I hate to say this, disparage the name of best boy polities. Odysseus, this is not the time to greet the world with open arms. <laughs> Till the show goes south How much longer till we all fall down You rely on wind and people die on it Whoa. I still believe in goodness I still believe that we could be kind Lead from the heart and see what starts And what will we do when it tears us apart Where is this coming from, my friend? What is this like to... Am I... To, <laughs> Get you a man that looks like Eurylochus the way that 
What am I on today? I feel like I'm on a different one with this reaction. I'm so sorry. I think I thought the sickness had left everywhere else and was only still left in my throat. But apparently I still have a brain cold because I am on another level today. <laughs> but also, get you a man that looks at you like Odysseus is looking at Eurella Kiss right now. The hand on the chest. Whoo, whoo, and history will say they were roommates. <laughs> When it tears us apart Where is this coming from, my friend? I just don't want to see another life end You're like the brother I could never do without And suddenly you doubt that I could figure this out Captain, I mean, how much longer till your luck runs out? How much longer till the show goes south? Yeah How much longer what do you mean, how much longer till your luck runs out? How much longer till the show goes south? It just went south. Did we not experience the same Cyclops saga? Your luck already ran out. The journey went south. What are we talking about? I haven't talked about a single musical thing this entire song. Hold on. What, what, what is, okay. How much longer till the show goes south? How much longer till we all fall down? You rely on wish and people. Musical question. I said last reaction that I was under the impression that the gods can have non-diegetic backing vocals, but that if humans have backing vocals, those are actual people. And I had people in the comments confirming that was true. So where on earth are these backing vocals and harmonies coming from? Because this feels like a one-on-one -on -one moment between Odysseus and Eurylochus, so who is singing? Oh my gosh, why does it take so long to load? How much longer till the show goes south? How much longer till we all fall down? You rely on which who, who is that? On it. Whoa, how much longer till the snake breaks free? How much longer till your great face sees? How much longer till your strength takes leave? You rely on which and people die on it. Whoa. Thank you for the concern, but brother, I can assure you, our journey is almost done. I understand that we're tired, I understand that we're faced, but don't forget how much we've already faced. I took 600 men to war, and not one of them died there, in case you needed a reminder. Okay! And then on the way back, what? <clears throat> I'm getting mad at Odysseus, actually. As his buddy. If you'd like to speak more, let me pull you aside then. I need to talk to you in private. First of all, okay, the fact that he just pulled him aside to talk in private means that maybe that wasn't the private conversation I thought, so it was actually the men supporting Eurylochus's point. That was pulling aside. Why does this feel like it's about to be a confession? To like, what is happening? Private. I can't have you planting seeds of doubt I can't have you disagreeing each route I need you to always be devout And comply with this Or we'll all die in this Okay Okay Thank you That makes me very nervous. Ooh, that makes me very nervous. I am a nervous boy. I don't like that Odysseus was just like, hey, hey, all these good points you're having, just keep them to yourself. I got this, I'll be fine. No, no, <laughs> no you don't. You, you, oh goodness gracious, well, I'm not going to do a crazy long outro because this video is already long. I'm excited to get to the next part and I need to save my voice because apparently I am not as healed from my sickness as I thought I was. And I still want to hop right on into the second half of Ocean Saga. So... To all of you here on YouTube, thank you for being here. I will see you next week. To everybody on Patreon, 
enjoy being, or if you are at the uncut access, you can probably go watch the rest of Ocean Saga right this moment. And if you're down those lower tiers, it should be out in just a couple days as soon as Mason is done editing it. So thank you so much. Thank you to all of my patrons, those of you who have been there forever, plus all of the incredible people who have joined uh, since the ocean, or since my Epic the Musical journey began. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate you tremendously. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye!